everyone. Welcome to the channel. It's been a while since we've done some Harry, but Nathan, it's, it's not a song. A it's been a while. It's not a song. It's another one of it's... Harry's interviews. Oh, so I'm, yeah. Okay. I'm looking forward to that. So this yeah. is him on the Capital FM Breakfast Show. And let's just watch it cold, shall we? And uh, I just want to say, yeah, I like obviously seeing Harry talk. Now, we're at the point now with Harry's career to a large degree with all the One Direction videos we've seen, concert footage, uh, Coachella, concerts, videos. We have every album. We've done every song on all his albums. There's not one mm -hmm. song from Harry's I don't think we've heard yet. Yeah, yeah. Minus a couple of One Direction songs. But so now, I guess what I'm saying is it's kind of cool that we're doing the interview parts now because we're seeing more of his character, his personality, and I'm looking forward to that. I Quick question just for yeah, the please. Harry Styles fans. Um, is he slotted, and I can obviously just Google this, but I'm curious, sure. is he slotted to uh, be acting anytime soon? Is is there more acting coming down the pipes for his career? Just because, like, I, I've watched him in 1917 now twice, and I actually really love that performance. It's a, oh, was it's he a, that movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a great oh, really? little performance okay. in that, yeah. That'd be something that we should... All sit around uh, and watch Ryan react to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all that time I have. Okay, here we go. All right. Is the film that I can safely watch with my parents? Because I've heard that it is getting racy. I don't know if you can watch it either. When I was told that this person was going to be on the show today, I honestly thought it was an April Fool's joke. And uh, to be fair, I'm playing... Oh, that must have been like an edit to tease you what's coming up, yeah. I guess. Okay, yeah. sorry. I, I, I hate those gimmicks. We've talked about doing that for our own... I, yeah. Okay, now I'm going to watch the interview because you did that little hook. Like, eh, sorry. Anyway. A little bit of uh, comeuppance on him because he made us go viral the last time we chatted to him on Zoom because he was wearing a uh, dressing gown. Oh. And so I don't think it will have the same effect. But I've <laughs> Okay, take your hoodie off, okay? You don't... <laughs> just, I'm, I'm, no, no, Nate, no, don't tell me. Just, this is what we, we're reacting to the video. I'm sorry. We're reacting to Harry. <laughs> no, I will no, but I'm just like... People who know our channel, look, this is, I feel like people give me videos like this just so I can get to trigger you. <laughs> I, well, I'm not, I'm not triggered. I hate that term. I've just, it's irritating. It's irritating watching people like, why does he have over one ear, half his head? Okay. <laughs> let me guess. He's going to have it down by the end of the interview. I don't know. It's this, sorry. Okay. Is it cold in the studio? <laughs> Try to attempt to wear a dressing gown myself. Please welcome to the show, Harry Styles, everyone. Yeah! Oh! Da, 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 da. Mate, it's been ages. How are you? I'm very well, thanks. Yeah, I'm very well. It's uh, I, I, thank you very much for the dressing gown reference. No, it's okay. Well, well, I Big mean, fan of that. I was upset that you didn't turn up in a dressing gown on my screen, but I'm sure Sorry. everyone in the world would be upset if you didn't turn up in a dressing gown on this. I can run and get one. Just do it. Oh, that's no, lazy. We ain't got enough time. We ain't got enough time with <laughs> you, apparently. Yeah, Sorry, Pat. Uh, we'll just pretend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> pretend. Yeah. Mate, you're back. You got your brand new song, As It Was. So many people absolutely yes. love it. We love it in here. The video is super, super cool as well. Thank um, you so much. There, you. there is obviously it, the, the best thing about this, this is, is people old. have waited so long to hear. Well, yeah, he looks younger here. Uh, as it was, what was that? What was the year for that again? Uh, 2019, that was... 20. Yeah, I yeah, want to say 2020. I'm going 2019, but let's see okay. if we're we'll, right. Well, right. 2020 would have been like pandemic y. So that's is, probably, you're probably right, 2019. Is this, is his ear getting cold there? Do you think his ear is cold? Do you think he might have to cover up? I wonder if his ear is cold there. <laughs> didn't notice. You know, oh, 2022, really? I didn't realize oh. it was that newish. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We, we get the year. I get the year so mixed up now. Uh, you have to understand that. Uh, oh. No, we got some discrepancies here. We got some discrepancies here. Who's right? Who's wrong? I don't know. Anyways, uh, you have to understand. Like One Direction songs are new to me. <laughs> it's kind of, um, what I always find funny it's not just Harry. I find it like other celebrities when they come onto these shows or talk shows or podcasts or whatever. I'm always amazed how many millionaires, like multi multi millionaires, if not millionaires, mm -hmm. and or just very very rich people, just kind of don't have a proper mic setup, like. You, you know what I mean? Like, it's not just <laughs> Harry. I just find it funny. Like, Harry is a multi... I know people, oh, he can't be bothered. But he does a lot of these videos. Mm, you know, and mm. I, I've seen a lot of different, like, people who have, like, another podcast that you and I listen to. It's amazing how many guests will come on. Like, you're going on a on a huge platform. And they mm. go, oh, I'm really glad I can be here today. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, you need to have, like, an assistant or someone say, hey, look, 
you have millions of dollars in your pocket. Let me just buy you a mic. It's to to the average person, it's like, it's like ten cents for you. Let me get mm-hmm. you a mic. I'll set it up for you. You're good to go on your computer because you're on your computer anyways, and every computer has a proper mic jack. It's funny. I think it's funny. Yeah. Your voice once again on a brand new song, but it's not your voice that we hear first. I believe it's uh, the voice of someone very special to you. Isn't what? that right? It is. Yeah, it's uh, it's the voice of my goddaughter. Um, oh. Oh. She used to try and call me before bedtime every night. So uh, one time, I don't know. Well, that's the voice at the beginning. The, yeah. Yeah. Come on, Harry. Why don't you play with us? At yeah. some point while we're in the studio and... and put it in front of the song for some reason and I kind of just fell in love with it so oh. it, it stuck. It is really it is. nice but I, I do, do think sorry. that that does mean she's she's a fish. I do really like that little addition to the song. Yeah. I think it's actually a yeah. I'll, I'll explain after when this is done. No, just do it now. Like it. So I'll, let's just say that's why we're doing this. Just call Well, me. I mean, <clears throat> for those who are familiar with our channel and familiar with the journey we've had with Harry Styles, um, we began in 20 Oh, 2022 was when we got our first round of, I think so. I think of One so. Direction. Yeah, that's right. So, and and this album had just come out, or recently had come out. Um, and mm. we had a great uh, support of our channel. Who her name is Sammy, mm. who was like, just like really got into the channel, and really we ended up uh, bonding with her really quickly. And unfortunately, mm. she was uh, diagnosed with cancer, and like while while we were kind of interacting with her, she, she passed away. Mm-hmm. Um, this song of all the songs reminds me of Sammy uh, because of that little beginning. And then she did a little video. I don't know if you remember She made a little video mm-hmm. of her dancing and she mm-hmm. used that song at the beginning of it. And I, I don't know. I always think of Sammy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's a wonderful thought. And I thanks for sharing that. Yeah. She was a lovely, beautiful inside endo mm-hmm. and uh, rest in peace to that wonderful soul. And uh, yeah. Yeah, she's Actually, watching us right now. A rec- she's watching us now? <laughs> oh, I don't think she could be bothered. She's got better things to do. <laughs> <laughs> she really has better things to do than watch our stupid channel. She probably got up there and goes, why was I wasting my time? I only had a few moments left on, left on Earth and I wasted my time with those two knuckleheads. Yeah. Uh, Recording artist now. True, she gets a percentage. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's yeah. a recording artist. You oh, got to yeah. share a Grammy with her if it wins. Oh yeah, she was asking. She was asking for a big fee. Yeah, so, you know, <laughs> all gone downhill. Well, look, we are loving this. It's the lead single from your upcoming album, Harry's House. The okay, artwork Harry's is, is you in like an upside down room, all the furniture's glued to the ceiling. Now, I don't imagine this mm. is exactly how your house looks, but do you have anything weird and wonderful in your house like that? I'd say at the moment it's kind of just. Uh, piles of things which i'm kind of sorting through what have you just moved no i haven't it's just, there's no it's excuse you just got piles of things, things. <laughs> i'm trying to kind of empty out a little, little bit and kind of clear uh the space that i'm living in a bit. sorry oh, I just, the, the third the third wheel guy he got a pile of things <laughs> Can I can I talk to you too? Can, can I say something to Harry? Let's see if he gets a question in though. But I love how he he tagged that comment just by repeating the thing that Harry said. <laughs> <laughs> I love this kind of stuff. I love this kind of stuff. Uh, Are you a messy person? Then is this the problem? I don't think I am. I'd say yes and no. That I means don't yes. Really know what that means when it comes to messy. But no, I don't think like jumping I am. around so much. Right. I think I'm messy to a point, and then I and but, then I'm like, oh, I think it. whoever sets up this stuff has it. Whoever's speaking, the camera goes to them right away. I think. Yeah, it's like a software automatically does it. Much than mm-hmm. I go for a big clean. Oh yeah, one of them. Yeah. I like to imagine that you do actually live in a house that's upside down. Like in the in the album artwork, that would be pretty cool. I just wear like those little like sucker. Cups. Just hoodies down. <laughs> <laughs> just pretending to be Spider Man. Yeah. Speaking of uh, homes, obviously you're not actually at home at the moment. You're in you're in America, um, but we've seen some pr- pretty wild accents from the One D Boys recently, and specifically <laughs> yeah. from um, Mr. Liam Payne at the Oscars red carpet. Um, now I, I've got to ask you: uh, Have you sort of started to get like a transatlantic a- accent from America at all? Well, I don't think in the time that I just got here, because I only got in yesterday for uh, <laughs> Coachella. Coachella. Mm. Oh, so, so. Coachella! So that's probably mm-hmm. the that's probably the performance we reacted to. Okay. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. Yeah, Harry's looking very handsome here. I would say this is the kind of hair length I like here. This is the mm. hair length. Like this is the hairy hair I like here. 
Yeah. So uh, I like longer. Uh, hair. In the space I've been here this trip, I think I've survived. I think it's a little bit all over the place. I'm from up north and I've lived in London for 10 years and I've spent a lot of time in America and stuff. So I think uh, I think when I'm with Americans, they don't think I sound American at all. But, and then I think sometimes when I'm with English people, they expect me to sound American. I don't think I do, but maybe I... No, you don't sound American yet. Not yet. Um, I'm on the way. But I try and translate for whoever I'm with. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's the translation. You've been working so hard recently. Yeah? And look, and we said, you know... Thank you, Roman. It's, no, I, I appreciate it, mate. I do appreciate it. Um, but you. look, it's been a while since we last spoke to you. And... and the movie thing, we've got to talk about that because I don't know whether to call you an artist. I don't know whether to call you an actor. What would you call yourself? Are you an artist first or are you an actor first? I mean, I think I'm a musician okay. first. Um, mm. If that would have been the better question, and Harry knew what he was trying to ask. Harry saved him there by saying musician. Because artists mm. can mean musician and actor. It's an yeah. overall term. Artist just means you are in the field of creating, like painter, Singer, songwriter, yeah. Anyway, so that guy, but I, Harry knew what he meant, and he saved him by saying musician. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I feel, you know, I feel really lucky to get to uh, kind of do a job that I love, and um, and then I've I feel very grateful to have been able to explore acting, um, something I did when I was a kid and stuff at school, and I always really loved it. And and in this uh, context, it's it's been a really nice opportunity for me to be able to get very much out of my comfort zone yeah, and well, kind well, of to be start again. And it's been a lot of fun. Well, that's what I was going to say. I mean, talking of comfort zones as well, because I, I need you to uh, sort something for me, right? Because I, I, obviously I'm going to go see both your films that you've been doing recently. So you've got Don't Worry Thank Darling you. and uh, My yes. Policeman. My yes. question, Harry, oh, what's, Kate, what is the thing? Hang on a second. Sir. I didn't, I didn't know either of those were Harry's films. I didn't, I guess I, I've been a little bit ignorant about what Harry's acted in. I just thought he kind of dabbled with 1917 and then maybe cameos in other vid in other movies. I didn't know there was a, like full like acting gigs that he's done. So that'd be something I'd be curious to to watch if, if there's something that that he's done that like I have no idea. Like like those films, um, maybe clips from those films. But I'd love to watch parts of that just to see what he's actually done. I'm just throwing that out there. Film that I can safely watch with my parents because I've heard that it is getting racy. I don't know if you can watch either with you. Parents. What? Oh, oh no. What? what do you mean? Um, because apparently I'm going to have to do I'm going to have to do another one. There, there's, <laughs> you're going to have to do another one. So that Shirley Kemp can enjoy a film with me. Yeah, um, yeah. but but genuinely like so look it's yeah. all been written about right? It's from some pretty saucy scenes in the films, yeah? Yes. Now I want to know because we saw this come up the other day and we asked we asked a couple of actors this. When you film a sex scene, right? Yes. Are you actually naked? Are you wearing nude stuff? <sighs> hilarious <laughs> yes yes he's naked he's penetrated his actress friend yep he's inside of her buddy yep he's making babies yep this is like did they just land on the planet and not know how films are made they have literal <laughs> workers they're called i forgot what they're called like they're the the standard film set will empty the studio of all but necessary crew they have safe workers with them the males will wear pieces down there. The females wear pieces on there. It's bad protocol. Actually, uh, I forget which actor it was. It's one of the funniest quotes from an actor. Uh, the actor, they were doing a love scene, right? It was mm. a true strife, but I forget who, which actor said this. It's probably been more than one. But the actor said before their love scene, you know, filming part, he goes, I'm sorry if I get aroused and I'm sorry if I don't. <laughs> 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 I love that. So, anyways, <laughs> sorry, I, I, but yeah, this gentleman seems to be completely unaware of how movies are made. So, let's see how Harry answers this. Okay. And apparently, a netball, like a ball from actual netball, gets in the middle. Is that right? Not pumped, but deflated. Um, I personally had no experience with a netball. Uh, <laughs> I think it depends very much on uh, on who you're working with and what the situation is. Right. I. 
all I can say from my own experience is that I was very lucky uh, to have a very trusting relationship within the people that we were working with. And that kind of came first. So okay. it was all discussed and all of it was very kind of, okay, above the filming, above anything that's happening, mm-hmm. with the cameras, it's me and you, we're doing this together. And if any, and we trust each other. And if at any point, yeah. you know, we can stop. It's mechanical more than anything. You can't. Fair so, enough. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, I'd never done that before on, um, on camera, at least I don't think. So. <laughs> Maybe in that third film. Just yeah. to- <laughs> Sorry, anyway, dude, thank you so much uh, for joining thank us. You so yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so much. Hey. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. Must be their their song. Hey, there's maybe. Song. Oh, Liam. Sorry. What was there's that? Liam at the end there. Yeah. Oh, I'm. Oh yeah. Okay, my bad. All right, let's watch Liam. Here we go. Oh, we love Harry. He's a very gracious guest. He's always very good with the host. He he's very confident. Uh, of course, even with that answer, he basically answered the way you'd have to answer it. That it's all done mm-hmm. through trust and it's professional and yeah. Oh. Yeah, I, I I misspoke. People what? can delete their comments right now. Oh, that's what I thought. No, that's fine. It's not that's 1917. It's Dunkirk. I'm wrong. You're right. Thank you, Azaria. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure people <clears throat> have already could right do not watch the whole thing. And I was going to say, when you said 1970, because I trust he is, uh, mm-hmm. I knew he was in Dunkirk as well. So I almost said I should have said it. I said, oh, I didn't really, because I, I knew he was in Dunkirk. So I thought, oh, I guess he's yeah. just doing war films right now. Okay. okay. No, All right. I'm wrong. No, that's fine. Yeah. It's okay, Nathan. It's okay. I just love you. <laughs> it'll be funny to see the read the comments and people are like it was up. Uh, it was Dunkirk. Like, yeah. Uh, if I you know, watched the whole yeah, thing to I the know. end, you'd figure that out. No, we uh, uh, thanks so much. Uh, we that was fun, Sam. Thanks for sharing that with us. Okay, that's why we do our comments throughout these interviews because it's as they're happening. So I don't really have much more to say other than yeah, it was a oh. fun interview. And but if you want to close with something, Nathan, please. Yeah, I I just want to say I think that Harry is Harry's really good at navigating these kinds of awkward interviews that yeah. you know where where he could just kind of you know yes they're they're a little over the top they're a little bit sure. late they're looking for the details da, da, da. Sure. he was really good about being professional about that specific weird question that just kind of mm-hmm. like oh, okay um because you want to get a by, sound bite out of it right you got, you got, yeah they're trying to look for that thing and I'm, I'm sure he gets these kind of questions all the time from people that are trying to get oh tell us about the tell us about the, your relationship with someone he's really good at just saying something that's just nice and neutral that doesn't necessarily spark a ton of controversy um he does it in a very hear, professional way oh do you want to yeah. hear what the clickbait title was for this oh for their show uh harry, harry styles, styles. Talks warns, about sex scenes. No, no. Harry Styles warns his scenes in quote. Sorry, Harry Styles warns. So the grammar's not very good here. Harry Styles warns his scenes in the movie. Don't worry, darling, are not safe for work. What? Uh, yeah, he, that's the clickbait. yeah. That's a very clickbait title. Like, okay, yeah. cool. All right. Yeah. Anyway, this is a lot of fun. Thanks. It was fun. We love Harry. Yeah. 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 <laughs>